when you create a presentation with ChatGPT and PowerPoint, you would probably want to customize it to reflect your brand and message. That means changing the images and graphics. But this comes with a cost because premium images are expensive and even the free ones require attribution, not to mention the time it would take for you to find the right image. So what can you do to get images that are unique to your brand, strongly reflect your message, and it's free? Well, recently I discovered that with the help of ChatGPT, you can generate professional great images that uniquely support your message. For example, this is a presentation outline of a futuristic home appliances. It was generated by ChatGPT, and if I open Designer, I can select design suggestions generated. However, the downside of this is we do not have control over the images or graphics for each slide. And that is about to change because now we can generate our custom images for free and compel PowerPoint designer to use them. This is how to do it. I'll head over to ChatGPT. Using the same chat context where the presentation outline was generated, I'll enter this prompt. Suggest images for the slides to support the message and enhance their visual appeal. Also, provide Bing AI or any other text to image generator prompt for the images you suggest and press enter. For slide one, we have five image suggestions, one for each subtopics. The first image is motion sensor activated toilet lid opening and the prompt is smart toilet with motion sensor opening lid. Let's copy the prompt for the first image and head over to Bing AI. Here is my Microsoft account. You'll be required to create one or log in with your Microsoft email before you can use Bing AI. Paste the prompt and click Create. Bing AI will take a few seconds to minutes to generate the image. Sometimes you might get only one image, other times a list of images. I'll click on it to preview and download it to my computer. Let's head back to ChatGPT for the prompt for slide two. Copy and paste it on Bing and click Create. This time, we have a list of four images generated by Bing AI. Let's click on the first image to preview. We can even move through all four images. I like this one, so I'll click Download to save it to my computer. I also repeated the same steps for slide three. Now that the images are ready, we can go back to PowerPoint and undo the first design we had. Now let's insert the custom images we saved earlier on, one image per slide. And now when I open Designer, it's going to generate design suggestions based on the images we have provided. So instead of auto-generated graphics, it's using our custom images. As I move to the next slide, it generates design based on the image. Pretty cool, right? Having this level of control over the images and graphics used in your presentation is important and that is why I decided to share it with you. Next time you need an image for your presentation, just go to Bing AI and let your imagination run wild. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in the next one.